Hi Aries, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So we're going to get into the sign of Aries, of course, and this will be for May the 15th through the 18th. Remember that time is only an illusion. Roles could be reversed and not to get caught up on the agenda of the cards because we all have masculine and feminine energy, of course. We're just, let's get into this reading and see what's going on with our Aries. What's going on with the Aries for this upcoming week? Messages for the sign of Aries. What messages do you have here? Six of Swords. Trying to get away, receiving peace of mind, getting away from a um, conflict argument ready to take a leap of faith ready to go towards new things we have the ace of swords so when i see the six of swords and the ace of swords i think of the seven of swords um someone trying to get away with something here um sneaky behavior lies deception so there could be something that that could be involved or whatever that could be going on but with this Ace of Swords, this is truth, clarity, honesty. So someone's trying to get away from a havoc, from a chaotic situation. From havoc in a cha or a chaotic situation, however you want to take it. <laughs> Those are the words that I'm hearing. And um, go towards truth, clarity. Yeah, Ace of Wands. You just want new beginnings here. More messages here for, for the sign of Aries. More messages here for the sign of Aries, please, and thank you. The Hierophant, beautiful. A teaching and learning experience. This could be marriage, tradition, Taurus energy. Four of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So someone isn't feeling um, fulfilled. Could be feeling bored, thinking about missing out on, on an opportunity here, looking for um, new opportunities. But Spiritual Universe is like trying to get you to um, see something. More messages here for the sign of Aries. Ooh, the Emperor in reverse. Come on now. Why are you guys coming out in reverse? You feel like you don't have control of, or, over something here. Losing control. Losing control. King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. This could be something about your emotions, your feelings. <sighs> trying to be in control of your feelings and emotions. Trying to be in control of something. Some. Mm. Someone isn't feeling control or in control here. And it's bringing a lot of worry and doubt. Anxiety. Nine of Swords up at night. Nine of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. That's the, um, that's the energy of loving yourself. So there is a need to uh, be in the energy of loving on yourself. Being happy. And gratitude. Right? Let me pick this card up. And it comes out. Nine of Cups. So we go from the Nine of Swords to the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Lovers card here. And we also have the Strength card here. Gemini and Leo energy. Have, you, you, Magician card here at the bottom of the deck. Your energy creating, manifesting something brand new here. With the Strength card underneath this Ember in, rever in reverse, I feel like you're trying to gain control, right? Having the strength to gain control over something here. Having the confidence here. We're going to get more messages though. Why is the Six of Swords here for the sign of Aries? We have the Hermit card here. Virgo energy, prayer, meditation, going within. So you may be getting a way to get a peace of mind. So you could be like going to um, a hotel room to relax. We have the Three of Pentacles here thinking about building. Working on something new. Why is the working it out with some someone? Why is the Ace of Swords here? We have the Four of Wands here. Marriage, family, stability, structure. What's why? Something about why is making a wise choice. Oh, the Four of Cups here in my hand. Also, why is this flipped over in my hand? I take it Four of Cups. <laughs> also here. Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. This is like, yeah, appreciating what you have. Appreciating your foundation. Seeing the truth in what you have. Seeing the truth in your home. Seeing the truth in um, maybe something within a home. Within the family. 
three of pentacles working it out with someone in the family working it without working it out with your spouse maybe your person why is the hyphen here why is the hyphen here for the sign of aries please and thank you clarify the hyphen we have the eight of wands in reverse something isn't moving forward Something is held back. A lack of communication. King of Pentacles here. Some people are feeling like they're not hearing source. Like they don't know how to communicate. That's why it needs to go within. To be alone. Hmm. Why is the Emperor card in reverse? Why is the Emperor card in reverse? We have the Wheel of Fortune card. Change. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles here. New opportunities. Knight of Pentacles taking things slow. Wheel of Fortune is fixed energy. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with either one. But someone is looking for a fortunate opportunity. Um, yeah, but better opportunities here, but someone is feeling out of control. But something is changing here karmically. What the hell? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Seven of Swords. I said something about that Seven of Swords energy, didn't I? Worried about someone get someone getting away with something. You getting away with something. Worried about lies and deception. Worried about uh, someone uh, sneaky behavior, deceptive energy. Someone's worried like mud. We have the Seven of Cups here. Options. Someone's worried about that truth being revealed, but the truth I feel like is being revealed here with the Ace of Swords here. What the heck? Why is the Nine of Cups here? You guys know what this is. The full card. Taking a leap of faith. Brand new beginnings. Towards something that you love here. Justice card here at the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. That could be marriage also. Papers. Um, someone could be in the justice. Um, involved in the, like, the court system or whatever. We have the devil card here underneath that. Forced to bring balance. Why is the lover's card here? Or to bring justice justice here in the situation. We have the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups showing up underneath the lovers. Expressing your love. Being emotionally mature. Yeah. I was feeling it like with the Emperor in reverse. Someone's being, feels out of control when it comes down to the, their emotions. And has no choice but to like follow their heart. Make better decisions. Go towards what you love here. The two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Balancing things out. Balancing um, home, work, life, right? Why is the strength card here? The death card. Change and transformation. It could be an ending involving a Leo here. But with the sun card here at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like someone going, is going towards their truth. They're calling. This is uh, Scorpio energy also. A change in transformation that leads to you needing to have strength. To pull out that strength within. Let's get some more clarifiers. Why is the Hermit card here? We have the Four of Pentacles and the Hanging Man. Alright, feeling left out in the cold. Gaining a new perspective here on the situation. Where someone is feeling left out in the cold, okay? Pisces energy with the hanging man. Feeling stuck and trapped in a situation here. And that's why you feel like you want to get free. Want to get away. Want to get alone. Nine of Wands. Not, um, not one seem to give up here. But tired. Exhausted. Why is the Wheel of Fortune card here? The Six of Wands. Victory after a battle. Two of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Ind indecisiveness here. Needing to see the truth. <sighs> Someone be being feeling out of control. Once again. I uh, can't help but to say this. Uh, another. There is energy around you. 
or within or someone else is feeling like their success also or what you oh okay there we go okay something that you thought was bringing you success is changing now and now you feel out of control it's like there's a force there's a need to have an equal give and take in a situation come together what's happening why is the full card here clarify the full card here for the sign of Aries, we have the Page of Pentacles in offer. Capricorn towards Virgo energy here, younger. Four of Swords here, healing at the bottom of the deck. This could be dating. This could be a gift. Mastering a craft. An opportunity to start something new and master something here. Becoming better at this, but there is like um, there's a need to you know grow, right? Why is the death cry here? Why is the death cry here for the sign of Aries? Mm -mm. Why is the death cry here? Okay, we have two. We have the temperance card and we have the high priestess. Okay, being patient with following your intuition here. Wait, hold on, wait. Becoming tapped in and in tune into your intuition here. Allowing this thing, allowing this change to happen and being becoming more balanced and patient. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. Sag energy. Let's get more. Why is the hanging man here? Why is the hanging man here for the sign of Aries? Judgment, making a decision here, being called to make a decision. That's why you're in this hanging man position. Because you know it's time for a change. Okay. Why is the temperance card here? That was quick. We have the moon card. Facing fears. Needing to face fears. Things that aren't clear. Quite clear. Cancer Pisces. Score, I mean, Cancer Pisces energy. Two of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. Making a decision. Taking a different approach on the situation. Why is the high priestess here? Clap out the high priestess. One second. Drop the card. The Emperor is another major. Okay. Divine feminine energy. Creation. Fertility. Brand new beginnings. Abundance. Divine feminine energy here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have the feminine the uh, masculine and feminine energy here, but the emperor is in reverse. Feeling out of control here because it seems like this feminine energy here within or around them is more in control. It's changing. It's becoming more developed. Gaining more strength. Becoming more powerful. Wow. Seeing through illusions. Taking their time with the seven of uh, pentacles. Your time, whoever this is, this is having the strength, to, um, strength to change more. Why is the judgment card here for the sign of Aries? Clarify the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Okay, what's this? The Ten of Cups. Oh, okay, yeah, deciding, yeah, choosing happiness, choosing happiness, walking away from people, place things that do not serve you with the Eight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, and choosing happiness, wish fulfillment. What brings you joy? Coming home to the people that you love. Love it. Why is the uh, moon card here? Can I find the moon card here? Mm-hmm. 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 No longer feeling sorry for yourself or whoever this is with the um, five of cups. Clarifying the moon card. So, yeah, that was the illusion. And that was the fear. Feeling sorry for oneself. Not seeing what you had behind. Ooh, what someone had behind them. The two of cups. Soulmate connection is there. It's love. It's true love. You have help. You have the um, um, the support you need, whatever. Three of cups in front of you, yeah. It's over with. They're messed up. They're spilled, but you still have something. You still have um, something to be happy about. Okay, beautiful. I like this. Why is the Empress card here? <laughs> yes, yeah, being more receptive and seeing your ships come in. This divine feminine energy is seeing their ships come in. Being more open. Knight of Wands. That is taking risks. Um, being excited about something here. That is uh, doing what you want to do. It could be in and out. 
energy also. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Clarify this Ace of Pentacles and then we're going to go towards an oracle. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Magician. There you go. Create new opportunities here. Okay, this could be letting go of some toxic masculine energy here. The need for always being in control of something. Yeah. Manifesting and coming out of this mental entrapment energy. Eight of Swords holding on to something. Why is the Magician card here? Clarify the Magician card here for the sign of Aries. Clarify the Magician card. Eight of Swords. I can't make this up. You guys, look, eight of swords come out. Clarify the magician. Be careful being in this energy, though. Someone being so upset about not being in control and being in their head, you end up manifesting things that you're just holding on to that no longer serves you, right? It's time to let go, be free, and be more receptive. And, mm, someone's in their head about manifesting. Someone was in their head about manifesting it and being in control about something and controlling some about something or yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> manifesting new opportunities, well, but was worried about it. Or this is oh, you know what else is this? This is manifesting coming out of being in this mental entrapment, self-imposed imprisonment, being tied up in restraint. Okay, let's move forward. Let's get an oracle here. I'm going to get it from the um, Whispers of the Ocean, and then we're going to get out of here, okay? Message for the sign of Aries when it comes down to this spread, please, and thank you. All right, messages for the sign of Aries when it comes down to this spread. What message do you have for the sign of Aries when it comes to this spread? Message for the sign of Aries. When it comes to this spread, please, and thank you. Message for the sign of Aries. One more. All right. Message for the sign of Aries, please. Make it accurate. Thank you. It's already out here for me. Thank you. Look beyond the okay. Look beyond the surface. Number thirty-seven. Avoid becoming distracted by surface issues. Focus on the underlying, underlying <laughs> motivation, um, cause, or beauty in a situation. Seek ways to bring depth in your world. Okay? Look beyond the surface. Bottom of the deck is persistent drive. See what you desire and move towards that goal. It is time to zero in on your purpose. Use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome. Okay? So let's uh, read this message, number 37. Break it down to a number 10. New um, endings and new beginnings. Come on. Okay, here we go. Allow your senses to become aware of the perfection that surrounds you. A lure exists in all aspects of your life, in nature, in relationships, in your own being. If you're missing it, as assess. What, you've been what you have been focusing your attention on and look for the beauty in your life instead. If you look, you, you, you are sure to find it. Get in touch with your sensuality through sight, smell, taste, and touch. Draw on your senses and experience contentment and deep satisfaction. It is time to treat yourself to a day of self-care. <laughs> This is crazy. This could mean going to a spa, receiving a massage, enjoying new experiences, or simply spending more time with people you love. Discover new ways to create to creatively express yourself through dance, exercise, outdoor act activity, painting, music, drama, or other art forms. This may be the perfect time to take up a new hobby, one which enables you to, to access the creative part of yourself. At first sight, it may appear that whales have warts coming, covering their faces, bodies, and tails. But the bumps on a humpback whale's snout are tubercles, and their bodies become home to sea barnacles. Sea barnacles find locations in the ocean from the shore side to the deep ocean to attach, while juvenile barnacles swim and drift with the ocean currents 
when they have nearly matured barnacles find identicals identical barnacles and attached to the same surface they choose the site which ranges from the bottom of a boat to the side of a whale this means the barnacles on a whale's face are fully developed and immobile the appearance of barnacles does not diminish the majesty and beauty of the whales in fact it gives the whales bodies an interesting detail okay so it's look appreciate what you have even though you may have a dysfunctional family you have a family you have people that love you, you have some people to love okay so i'm gonna leave it there um however it is you guys you need to take it how it resonate you guys let me know how it resonated let me know down in the comments if it resonated right leave your like shares all of that good stuff i love you i love you i love you and i'll see you guys next time bye